Okay, so now we're familiar with global defaults, and we also cover the downsides. So what is a possible fix? Well, we can set up a custom instance where we create a new file, we import Axios, but instead of defaults, we go with create. Again, we pass in the object, and here we have multiple options. If we want, we can set up the base URL. So if you know that you'll be setting up multiple requests to the same server, you can add here the root URL and then the specific URL when you actually invoke this one. And don't worry, you'll see that in a second. And the same goes for headers. Instead of setting this up globally to all the requests made with Axios, we'll add this header, the accept one, and only when we invoke auth fetch, which is the name in this case, of course, you can name it however you'd like, only then we'll add that. And as always, I think the example is going to be the best helper. So let's first navigate to app.js. And yes, I purposely set up a new file for the example, even though the most logic is going to be exactly the same, just so you have a reference for the global setup as well. So first we're looking for a custom instance, then we won't use this anymore. So we can just remove it. Let's save it. Now we have custom instance. And this is exactly what we should see over here as well. So now let's navigate to the Axios, we want to create a new one. And in this case, I'm going to go with custom JS, then let's import the Axios from and we're looking for Axios. Here, let's create that instance. So in my case, I'll call this auth fetch. So let's say here create, we want to pass in the object. And like I said, I want to set up the base URL. So if I take a look at the custom instance, you'll notice that I don't have any more here this URL, the one that leads to my server. But if I take a look at the global instance, notice this HTTPS and then course API and react store product. So in this type of scenario, normally, you can just take the root URL, in this case, that is course API, in some cases, it's going to be longer, we can add this one to the custom instance. And then every time we make a request, we just need to say, well, what is the exact path? In this case, that it's going to be forward slash and react store product. So let me navigate back base URL. And yes, as a side note, you can set this one up in default as well. Like I said in a previous video, then just so I don't make some dumb typo. Let me take the first part. Now it's up to you if you want, you can take the forward slash. And then you just need to provide the react store product in this case. But I actually prefer getting everything up to the forward slash just makes a little bit more sense. If I provide the forward slash when I invoke the instance, like I said, that is totally up to you. This is going to be my base URL, then let's add those headers right away as well. So let's set up the accept. And we're going to go with application forward slash JSON. Now we do want to export this. So export default, and we're looking for auth fetch. And now let's navigate to the file. I want to go to custom instance. So I still have this random user URL. And above it, we want to import that custom instance, as well as Axios instance. So for the random user, the one that's going to some different server, we'll just use the default Axios instance. However, for my one, we'll use that auth fetch, because that one has some goodies. So let's say here import auth fetch. And this is coming from the custom one. And also, let's set up the import and Axios from and just simple Axios. So when we set up the fetch data, first, we want to go with try catch, just like we normally would, then let's go with response one. And this one will be equal to await, and then auth fetch. And remember, we already have the base URL. So like I said, the forward slash part is up to you. But in my case, I prefer setting this up without the forward slash I'm talking about the base URL right now. So when I 
setting up the instance when I'm invoking it, then I just add that forward slash. It just makes a little bit more sense to me. But you don't have to do that. So react store product, that will be the URL. And then the second one, const, and then response to. And in this case, I'm not going to log it. I don't see the point. Again, the main point is what we have in the requests, not whether we are getting the results or not. So await axios, and now let's go with that random user URL. And if we'll take a look at the browser, let's refresh again, we have two requests going out. But if we'll take a look at the first one, we will see that application JSON and notice again, how we were successful, even though we did not provide the entire URL, because we already have the base one. And if we'll take a look at the other one, the other request, we'll have actually here default accept one with text plan as well. And this clearly showcases the fact that with a custom one, we can pick whatever stuff we want to add to our request. So now every time we'll use this auth fetch instance, we'll have this base URL and whatever default setup we add over here. But then if we we'll just use the normal Axios instance, it's just going to be a standard request. And as you can see, this is totally up to you more specifically, depends on your application. If you have a setup where you can just add everything as a global instance. So if you don't have anything that possibly might be a security issue, then you can just add those things to a global instance and you're good to go. However, if you have a situation where you need more detailed setup, where effectively you want to add this only to specific requests, then of course, custom instance makes a little bit more sense.